All right, back with the fierce battle bots game here. This time we'll be tackling Volcano Man. Let's just hit play and get in there. Yeah, and we have seven E tanks and one M tank. And yeah, for defeating Toy Man, let's see here. We get the. Wait. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Toy Man gives the die missiles, the toy rocket. Okay. And Volcano Man gives the atomic fire. And Wall Man gives the block dropper. Okay, okay. All right. So I'm just going to do my round here. I'm going to pick everything up. And yeah, now that we have cleared the sixth stage, we also get to get the rush yet there. So yeah, now we're quite stocked up here. There we go. All ready to go. All ready to go. All set to go. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Easy. Actually, I wonder, can we slide under this? Hold on, let me try. Wow, dude, I suck. Okay, whatever. Whatever, whatever. Yeah, we will have some really tight platforming in this stage here with the flame balls here. You gotta move really quick. Ooh, and yeah, I really like this room here, like how the <laughs> freaking pipe here like wraps around and yeah, looks really cool. And yeah, of course you could use the flash dropper in here to buy yourself some time. I'll try and do it without. For the most part. There might be... Yeah, like, up in the wild stages like that, a uh, gimmick there will be reoccurring, and yeah, I might <laughs> want to bust it out then, because in the wild stages, like, let me tell you, the freaking... Yeah, the fireballs will move... Yeah, at max speed, it feels like. <laughs> it goes by very freaking fast. Uh, Like, I don't know, to me, to me this is probably one of my favorite stages uh, in the entire package here too, like, I definitely like the visuals, uh, like it's really cool to look at all the tide work while you're going through this. Whoops, I thought I could just slide down there, <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, so here is how I'm going to do it, I'm thinking. I'll just use the rush yet. Yep, that's nice. Whoa, another E tank here. Very cool. Okay, so now I'm maxed out on E tanks. <laughs> yeah, so even though. Like, even if you go for the E tank there, you still have plenty of time for that room. Um, it still is a very cool room there to move through. Very intense, and damn it. <laughs> yeah, I only got myself to blame for that. <laughs> okay. I wonder, you can probably stand there on that little piece sticking out there, but yeah, I'm not going to risk it. Just going to move through here. Nice and slow. And yeah, I believe you can... Okay, no, you can't freeze those, but you can freeze the... You can freeze the actual, you know, fire in the climbing sections there, I know, with the perfect freeze. And yeah, once again, this hot dog here, like, pe pretty poorly placed. Like, he can't really do anything. Yeah. Like, typically... Damn it. Oh, that's not good. Typically when you play stun a hot dog, you, you want to have him like elevated above the player, not like on the same plane or below too much like... Okay, we're back here again. With the useless hot dog. <laughs> he should be fired from Dr. Wily there. Holy shit, that seemed impossible! Maybe you're not supposed to be able to do it on the first cycle or something, or maybe I just got down lucky. Yeah, now it looks a lot better here. But yeah, let's just demonstrate, you see. Yeah, <laughs> pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's just wait for it on freeze though, so that, yeah, it actually has a chance to catch up to me here. Uh, 
And yeah, I guess another thing, that checkpoint at the top of the room there, it might have been nice if it was on the outside of the room instead. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but have, if it had been on the outside instead... Oh, wow, I almost fell down there, and I did anyway. Oh my god, dude, that was just... Yeah. Alright, here we are again. I used the perfect freeze whilst on the flames up there, so I do have a advantage here going in here. There. That's how, you, how you're supposed to do it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cam down there. Yeah, I don't think you can slide under that, or maybe I just suck. Uh, you know, just die. Oh wow, it's that close! Oh crap! <laughs> I'm actually kind of glad I accidentally used the flash stopper there. Once again, <laughs> this auto dog can't really do much. Um, yeah. But yeah, this here is still, you know, from a visual viewpoint, uh, very cool looking right before the boss here. Very intense, very cool looking. All that good stuff. And here we have Flayman, which I'm not great at fighting, but yeah, he's not, he's not that hard. And one more shot should do it. There we go. Yeah. So that's Flame Man. Now we have nine E tanks and one N tank. We're pretty much all stocked up here. So yeah, even though I had quite a few points to criticize that stage about, like mainly that one checkpoint and a lot of the hot dogs felt very, you know, very ill placed. They couldn't really interact much with the player there um but still you know the stage visuals remain very cool and yeah the even though that one um, fire segment you know felt kind of weird you know having the checkpoint in the middle of the room and you know he couldn't you, you heavy man could base heavy man heavy elite could basically not put the checkpoint outside because if you did you would be stuck inside the room because of the lava cannon but I don't know, I think that it would have been better to just place down the checkpoint perhaps outside and, you know, just don't have the lava cannon there on the first screen there. Um, I don't know. That's just me though. Anyway, now here, next on, we'll play True Wall Man. Um, once again, like one of Heavy Man's... Wait, why do I keep calling him Heavy Man? <laughs> Heavy Elite's uh, favorite stages in this entire package. Um, it's one of my favorites too. Um, Mainly because of the visuals and the Yoku block jumping here and there is very nice to interact with or very fun to interact with, I should say. Yeah, just cut out the waiting here. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> okay, I sound like butts now. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we got a flash stopper. Yeah, the spinning wheel. Gotta get the freeze. Basically, everything with a without except the block dropper there all right we can skip everything in here basically i don't even necessarily need to grab all my neat things i'm not gonna use them anyway i guess it would be enough if i just use one of them or bring one of them but yeah like the visuals in this stage is very nice 
like I really like this here first screen. Just looks very cool with the trees in the background. Yeah, the tile work is nice. And yeah, we will get an E tank, I believe, for doing this little Yoki Block challenge here. Yep, indeed we do. Once again, very nice screen transitions here. And yeah, I really like that Mega Man 11 guy up there too, shooting from there. It's a nice spot to have him in. Oof, and that's a dangerous energy to go for. I'll probably not go for it. Um, yeah, here's how we'll deal with these guys. Like the, like I have given the, what's it called? <laughs> the atomic fire quite a bit of, you know, flack in the past, but like, I definitely started to using it more and more, you know. Like, especially some enemies, it's very good to use against, especially those met cannons there. Like, they aren't all that dangerous either way, but yeah, it's still, still just a very nice weapon to have against them because you don't really have to. Yeah, you can just very easily deal with them. Um, this ring or whopper enemy here, um, you know, he can't, <laughs> he can't hurt you. Um, so, like. Once again, pretty much like with the hot dogs, like, I don't know, like, I, I just don't know why you didn't uh, fix it. <laughs> like, you, you're obviously a very talented creator, it's just so weird that, like, the mini bosses just, for some reason, you just overlook them. I just don't know, like, like, you can't just have missed that, I don't think, it must have been left in intentionally. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I sound very harsh, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just pointing it out. You know, I said I would give some criticism while playing here, and usually I don't do that. Usually I just play and you know, chill. But yeah. Whoa! Oh my god, dude, I suck. <laughs> but yeah, this part here that we're Oh my god, coming up on is one of the cool parts here of the stage. Um, yeah, I'm just going to bring this one with me here. Here we go. Yeah, this part here. Like, we will have some very nice visuals coming up here too with the blocky walls here. Oh yeah, and this here. Like, this yoke block wall here will start chasing you unless you move fast here. So I'll just try and stay ahead of it so that I don't get crushed by it. Ooh. But yeah, see here it comes. Oh yeah, here, let's just... Whoa! Oh my god, don't give me... Oh my god, I almost... <laughs> Imagine if I had used the pile driver right into the Yoku block holder, that would have been... Yeah, that would have been a sad day. <laughs> yeah, like this room here, I, I really like this here, like how it looks like with the, you know, with the wiring, with the crash lifts and... Yeah, and once we get out of here, you'll see too how nice it looks here on the surface. Like, that's one of the things I like most with heavy elite stages here, like the background transition. Uh, like, so in the early stages it had some rough background transitions, but here towards the end it starts to look, you know, cleaner and cleaner and cleaner and cleaner. Um, yeah. Yeah, look at this here. Like, you're, you're down here in the underground, you come up here and you have the, yeah, the wall, you know, coming across here. Looks very nice. Let's see uh, if we can go here. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. But yeah, once again, yeah, I just really like this part here. Like you're walking up on the walls of the castle or whatever. Like very nicely portrayed stage here. Looks awesome. And yeah, we're inside here again. Very cool, very cool. Back on the walls again. Yeah, I'm just going to use this weapon. And I believe there will be another E tank up here. Somewhere around here. Yeah, it's down there actually. 
just go for it. Even though I have nine, like... Yeah, I still wanna go for it. I believe I cheesed this on my first playthrough. Um, I did not come this way, I actually came from the right here. Like, I walked on top there, and yeah, like, once again, the visuals here, like, having these, this bridge on top of the wall here, it, I mean, it just looks very nice, it looks so cool. Uh, but yeah, I just came in here, and I used, you know, this weapon here, got to it that way instead, um, yeah. But this time I did it the proper way. <laughs> Dang it! I messed that up. You need to shoot him earlier. <laughs> but yeah, this is the last easy stage of the game. No, once we're done with this, like we will get, uh, we will be getting into all the the difficult parts here. The wild stage is like they are so tough. Oh yeah, let's see here. It's so unsettling when other crash lips <laughs> comes onto you. Sometimes they just yank you right off. Sometimes you're fine, sometimes you're not. Uh, I don't really know what's causing it, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I also like this room here. Looks very nice. Okay, very Mega Man 2-ish, this room here. And yeah, like, there are actually quite a bit of uh, rooms, you know, throughout this whole game that actually looks like, you know, rooms from, you know, this classic Mega Man game. So yeah, I, I think that they took, or I guess that Heavy Elite took some inspiration from there. And yeah, like, look, once again here, like... Like, what you could have done here is, like, basically, if you just had extended this pillar here, like, to out here, and, you know, erase these tiles here, and, you know, drag drag the flooring to here so that the player would land here, erase these tiles here, and a hole down here, and, you know, put ball here, then you would actually be in range of him. Now, like, now it's just no challenge. <laughs> you can just sit here. Like, well, I, I don't know. It's so weird. It's such a weird design choice uh, to just have him completely non-threatening like that. Um, I'm not sure how, what to think about that. Um, yeah, I mean, this is supposed to be the eighth stage for <laughs> crying out loud. <laughs> there should be, yeah. I don't know. Okay, just stop pitching, Nick. I, I need to stop pitching now. <laughs> but yeah, this room here looks really cool. Looks amazing, even. I really like the tiles in here. But yeah, it's just stone, man. <laughs> One of the easier Ooh, <laughs> bosses in the entire game here. And there he goes. Did not even take a single hit. <laughs> yeah. He usually hits me once at least if he uses his power stone ability, but yeah. Urgh, he didn't go for it. Unless he did it and I... He <laughs> just spaced out on it. <laughs> okay, but yeah. Should I? Mm. Nah, you know what? I'll just cut the video here. There will only be two stages in this one. So yeah, we will be continuing on with the Billy <laughs> Wily stages in the next episode there. So yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And have a nice day.